Oh boy. All right. So you're probably wondering why it, everything looks like this. It's because I've already done the review. I did the full review. Rotating base, same standard review that we always do. But I, like, I, <laughs> it's, this has happened. The last time I remember this happening was the Ultimate Edition Macho Man and Edge review. Haven't had this problem since then, but I recorded all the clips, man. It was like 12 different clips from the review that we always do. The rotating base, the entrance with the packaging. Like, why would I be sitting here with this? lineup and everything if I didn't do it the way that I always do it. Take the camera SD card out, put it in the computer. No footage to be found, Brad. No footage to be found, but welcome to the WWE Elite Series 96 Shinsuke Nakamura and Kofi Kingston review, man. We're gonna have to do it very fast style, or not fast style, but just not uh, how we usually do things, man. We're gonna have to do it all in one cut here, but here are the figures, man. So coming into this, I, I, I was liking what I was seeing in these. You guys know how I feel about Shinsuke Nakamura's gear and and the Kofi gear. I think we have two wonderful gears here, so I do appreciate that. These are really awesome as far as that's concerned. It was a great review, man. It was a really great review. I had a lot of fun with it, and it really bummed me out that I did not get it, but what is good, everybody? Welcome back to another WWE Elite Series 2-in-1 review on the WWE Elite 96 Shinsuke Nakamura and Kofi Kingston action figure reviews. We went over the packaging. We looked at them on the rotating base. We went through their accessories. We went through them themselves. We did the comparisons. We did everything that we usually do here. Final thoughts on the rotating base had the random shout out in there everything was completed and then i get out here and what happens man this is what happens i plug the freaking thing in there and it's gone but kofi looks sweet i love the masters of the universe gear right here in the skeletor now one thing that is awesome is that you guys know that mattel has the license for the masters of the universe so this skeletor gear is so sick how they have the unicorn that looks like skeletor and it's got the blues and the blacks and the purples it just looks really clean masters of the universe down here in the New Day, or the, the font is the Masters of the Universe, but it is the New Day right there, and it's got all this going on. These are the Montez Ford legs right here, and I remember him wearing this gear, and I remember specifically when the, both of these guys wore these gears, I said, I want these in figure form. I want to say I tweeted about them. Maybe somebody can go find the tweet and retweet it or something like that, but I want to say that's what took place, but these shoulders were very stiff at first. I finally got them down by the sides. It's not nearly as bad as it was. It looks really good now. As long as they can go down by their sides, man, I hate, like, they had the broken arm look for a while, but I finally got him down after time with working him out. But this Kofi figure really impressed me. It's got a great head sculpt on it. It's a bit weird because it's not your standard Kofi Kingston smiley head or laughing head or goofy face. It's just him straight pissed off or kind of just looking normal, you know? So that's a bit weird for for uh, Kofi Kingston, but the hair is really nice. I like it a lot. I don't like that they use the Montez Ford legs because there's no lower leg cut and it's pinless. So I remember this gear specifically too because he didn't wear kick pads on this night. He actually wore Jordan, so I'll probably try to paint these up or something. I hate the Cena shoe mold, but it is what it is, man. I, I, I'm I bummed out because I feel like I'm just rushing through this review, or I feel like I'm kind of, I don't have my thoughts all well placed out like I did in my other review, like I have my normal reviews. So I would take it one at a time, but now that I lost the footage, I feel like I just have to go off the cuff here, so I do apologize for that. One thing that's weird about this figure, too, is that they didn't give him sculpted glove hands, which was a big misstep. I'm pretty sure he wore Nike Vaporjet gloves. Pretty sure it's those gloves or I remember him wearing those. They photoshopped it on the back of the packaging because they're not going to put Nike on the back of the packaging and they're not going to put Nike on the figure, but they could have given him some sculpted gloved hands. His accessories, he just comes with the Ricochet Kawhi Leonard hands and they look very weird because they're just molded in purple. You can see the fingernails and the veins and everything. I really wish they'd give us a sculpted glove hand, but that's a weird thing. And then he also comes with his entrance vest, which is very nice. I do believe this gear was made by Main Event Gear. So you have the unicorn corn with the Skeletor reference. They did leave off the blue details on this jacket, but I love the purple and silver. Very nice sculpt. I do believe this is a one-of-one -one sculpt. Don't think we've seen this before, but it is really nice. You even have all the wrinkles in there. Very quality. Very, very quality on this, and I love the Kofi. The Kofi actually blew me away in expectations. It's a it's a figure that I really, really enjoy. And coming in, I was not looking forward to it because of kind of the, the, the Montez Ford legs, but I don't have any issues with it. I actually like it, and uh, you know, I have to see how those ankles hold up over time. Now, as far as Shinsuke Nakamura, you're looking Looking at your basic Shinsuke Nakamura figure, you guys saw it up next to the rest of the Shinsukes that we've seen, but basically this figure is a Shinsuke Nakamura with double jointed arms and a new head sculpt, just painted white, right? He's got his white bicep band, white wrist tape. He does have his, this is the same Shinsuke Nakamura legs that we've seen from the crotch down. It does have the pins in there. I mean, the sculpt's the same, the kick pads are the same. Uh, you know, everything's the same. It's just molded in white. He has full white. He's got like a bronzish belt on there. It is the signature Shinsuke torso that they give him 
especially. And I mean, that's basically it, you know, for him. He does have a pretty sweet jacket accessory that I love. I really enjoy the jacket accessory. This is one of the highlights of the Shinsuke. It's got to be, you know, it's cloth. It has that faux leather material. Fits the figure really well. I could show you what it looks like on the figure in just a moment because I had a shot of him wearing the figure. Wearing the figure. I had a shot of him wearing the jacket, but you guys know what I'm talking about. I lost the footage for whatever reason, man. Hate when that happens, but it, it feels really good. This is very quality. Wish we would get this every single wave. I wish we would get an accessory like this. I feel like they're pretty good about giving it to us, but it does have like the cutout sleeve here. It looks really good on the figure, and you guys can see here, it Velcro's across and straps in the front, so you do get the gold buttons going down the side there. Very cool jacket, and it looks really cool in the figure as well, but I do want to stick it on to Shinsuke here so you guys can see what it looks like. I'm sure you could put this on a number of guys. You could probably get it away with giving it to Seth. I think it would be really cool in like the Elite 45 Seth or something, or, you know, doing doing like a cool fix-up like that. Um, so there's that, putting it on Shinsuke, and then you gotta take the Velcro, and you gotta strap it across here. Again, man, I do apologize for the review not being the full review, man, because I sat here for hours and did the review, and now it's gonna come down to just a straight snippet of me running through the figures, and it pisses me off, man, because I don't like to do that. I hate that. It, it was structured, it was ready to go, but here is the jacket on the figure, and it looks really good, and I think, you know, I guess you could, like, wrap that around if you wanted to give it that look, uh, but it does, it, you know, it flails out. That's kind of how the jacket was, but it looks good on the figure, and again, you could put that on other guys, hack the sleeves off, put it on other guys again. You know, that, that the creativity is in your hands, Brad, but overall, I like it, you know, and, and one thing that I thought that was really cool about the review is that we got to see Kofi up next to all his figures and just the different figures we've gotten of him over the years, and there's so different many, and then, like, we have sh we have eight Shinsuke Nakamura elites, you know, between the Defining Moments, the Elite 57, the Elite 63, the Elite 81, the Elite 81 Chase, you have the Ultimate, you have the NXT Elite, so lots of those, including the Elite 96, so it was really awesome to see all of them up next to each other and everything like that, but the Kofi I, honestly blew me away, and you guys know that tomorrow we'll probably have a full featured review on Ilya Dragunov, and it's crazy, it sucks though at the same time, because I actually already filmed the intro for that video, and I've already taken them out of their packaging, which yeah, I don't know if I'll put them back in their packaging to redo it, but I had I had already filmed the intro for that video, so I can go ahead and open them, and so I lost that as well, so that's just kind of the way the cookie crumbles sometimes, but overall thoughts on both these figures is pretty excellent. I like the Shinsuke a lot. I think that it's cool that they went with a different gear. They have a pretty cool head sculpt on there. I think it works. It's not his best head. I think the Elite 63 Shinsuke is my favorite head, but having the new Elite 96 and the Elite 96 Kofi really, uh, really surprised me, so I'm, I'm really interested to see where we go for this ranking. We are going to do a My Damn Thoughts after reviewing Ilya Dragunov. Speaking of, see, this is what I'm talking like, see, Ilya Dragunov's already out of the packaging, and Dewdrop is as well, but, uh, I don't, I, I I'm not gonna show those off in this video. Oh, yeah, I forgot about his crown accessory. He also has his crown in here, which fits the figure pretty decent as well, so you can put that on his head there, and yeah, there you go. So, I'm so pissed off, man. I don't know how that happens. I don't know how you lose footage like that. I guess I, like, I get if you take the card out too soon or you cut the camera off too soon, you may lose clips or whatever it is. But if I already have the clips, like six, five or six clips already on the on the camera, why would it take the, like the whole session's clips? You know what I'm saying? If those have already been saved to the card, why does it delete all of them instead of, you know, the most recent one? The most recent one would make the most sense to me. Why would it delete a whole session of what, I, I don't know. But anyways, man, I'm disappointed. I do apologize for this crazy, dumb review. And I... I'm sickened with myself, and I just wasted five hours of my time. So if you will, man, please leave a like on this video. Try to get this video 500 likes if we can because of the dumbass camera or computer, whichever one, decided to mess with the footage and mess everything up. So I do apologize for that, but uh, I just wasted like four or five hours doing this review, man. So I, I greatly appreciate if uh, we could make up that by, uh, you know, helping out the video as much as possible. Leave me your thoughts down below, man, but I'm getting out of here. I'm pretty disappointed now, and... Uh, uh, I have a damper mood and I'm about to go shower and wallow in self-pity. Have a blessed one, man. You crossed the line, I've been